Welcome to Paramotor TV. I am Sean Simons, PPG Grandpa, and we're going to be rebuilding our Monster 185 Classic. All right, part two of continuing to rebuild our paramotor. Uh, yesterday, we took off the carburetor, and we realized that we had some serious fraying right here. And I don't know if we're going to replace that or what, but we're going to figure out something. And our carburetor and our gaskets were really, really crumbly. I have a gasket repair kit here and o-rings we have a brand new carburetor here and we are going to clean this up and put this all together we have a Molster 185 classic so i got the exploded view here to make sure that we put everything together correctly and we have all the right parts too because i've noticed that we do not have all the correct parts that go on this some of these parts that are on here are not correct so we're going to have to replace them um, for example, the bolts that go into here are not right, and the washers are not right, and I don't know what's going on. To keep my workbench clean as I'm working on these things, I have uh, these right here I get for my car wash. So I just keep them, or keep the extras, and I use them over here. All right, let's go ahead and start cleaning these things. These are supposed to, like slide in and out but they are not sliding in or out there this is the first thing we gotta do is clean up all this junk uh this i'm not using because i got a brand new one right here all right so we're gonna be working with carburetor cleaner so we're gonna make sure that uh, we put on some gloves i use the pan to uh, to do this because now i can use the carburetor cleaner that came off and clean it some more so it it goes a long way I have different types of brushes here because we want to make sure that uh, these parts are clean. Uh, not spraying anything that's rubber with carburetor cleaner because uh, that will pretty much disintegrate that. So using the cleaner here or the brushes and getting this clean. I'm also checking the reed valve's pedals here and they seem to be uh, great. We checked those yesterday. There's no light and um, they, they seem to work. I got a spare uh, spare kit, but I don't need them, so don't fix it if it's not broke, right? With the gasket, this is all nice and clean now. I can put this in here, like so. So I screw them all hand tight to make sure that nothing was cross threaded, and then I'll torque them down to specifications here in a second. All right, so what I did is I took off this, which was on the old carburetor, and I removed this. I see why we have this one on here, because of that, of this frayed wire. I'm going to have to replace the throttle cable, and probably the throttle also. This looks like it's really worn, um, but until then... Just like my previous owner of this motor, he's going to make it, he made it work, I'm going to make this one work. Alright, so, let's get everything set up. Alright, looks nice. Alright, I don't think this is the right tube. It, if it's too long or too short, it actually changes. Uh, the fuel mixture, so I'm gonna have to look into that. Everything is zip tied. Uh, it's not supposed to be zip tied. There's supposed to be little round clamps, but we're gonna zip tie everything here. Right, so now we need to connect this crap to here. Wow, that's. That's bad. Let's take a look in here. All right, with our handy dandy little camera here, we're going to take a look inside and see what this looks like. See what the head looks like. And it looks like the head and walls look pretty good. And spark plug. I like brand new spark plugs. So, what is this? 
teach you guys that if you want to start doing paramotor self-training uh, be you're gonna be disappointed um, nobody's gonna sell you a good motor for cheap uh, nobody is and if you do work on motors it's great you can do all sorts of all, all sorts of um, maintenance and stuff get it all working but you know this is aviation I have skipped preventative maintenance and I've done kind of a, a, a kind of a okay job on my other motors that I have I'm not gonna follow this guy but when you're doing the paramotor stuff if your motor quits you could potentially be in a world of hurt now grant you keep on looking for a, 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 an out but why have a motor out in the first place all right, so I was thinking, all right, I'll just do it the way he had it before. But what happened before is he had to have it a little bit in to make it work. And that right there, that little, no, that's, that's just not going to work. So I'm going to have to get a whole new uh, throttle cable and uh, put it on here. That's, that's all for today. Um, we got the carburetor put on and... Uh, this goes on here like so, which we'll go ahead and do, but we got to wait for a throttle cable to come in. Thank you guys for watching. It seems like it's always one thing or another, huh? I think you got everything set up and you can go fly, but something's always happening. Jeez, ain't that a bitch? Okay, so I cracked this open and I pulled out the entire cable. Uh, this was connected in here and I pulled out the entire cable and this is the end of the cable. This is the crap that that broke that was over here. And I, I'm going to try to go down to Walmart see if I can get myself a cable like this and uh, refeed it through this thing and uh, get this thing working. Alright, so I went to Walmart and I got a cable. Hopefully this will work for the paramotor. All right, I'm sure you think I'm crazy using a bell replacement um, thing for this, but let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about using something like this to replace the throttle on your paramotor? We'll see you tomorrow for part three as we continue to rebuild this pain in the butt.